Mother, I appreciate you saying that, but you do realize there's a bit of a problem. I'm not, I, I'm less likely to keep a job if you keep calling and interrupting me when I'm trying to do things at work. I am at work right now. It's not shenanigans, Mother. I'm at work. Did you not see me leave the house in my polo shirt this morning? Where did you think I was going? They don't give us the day off for Valentine's Day. Mother, I have to go. There is a, a beautiful woman here. Not that it matters what the customer looks like. We treat everyone with dignity and we love everyone. I love you. Oh, Mother, I gotta go. I just said something stupid. Okay, bye. I do apologize sometimes when I'm talking to Mother. She just gets me all mixed up. I was talking to her. Not that I would not say the same to you, but we do not know one another, so I do apologize for that. So, yes, ma'am, please, if you would just set your... I, thank you. I got your basket here. You have some nice items in here today. First of all, I would like to say Happy Valentine's Day. Um, there are some things I have to ask you. Um, I'm new here. I do apologize. I don't have Mr. Sanderson behind me anymore. He was helping train me, but he has irritable bowel, and he's in the bathroom this morning. That's vulgar. I'm sorry, but that's where he is. So I'm kind of flying blind here, and that's not just a euphemism. I do have night blindness. But it's daytime, so it doesn't affect me right now. Oh, let's see. I'm supposed to ask you some stuff. Um, did you find everything you were looking for today? Oh, actually, we don't carry that. So I guess technically you did not find everything you were looking for. They didn't tell me what to do if the answer was no. They, I, they just assume everybody will say yes, so I'll stop bothering them and ring their stuff up. Um... So I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. Um, we do, uh, Well, I can tell you, you can actually find shelf paper at uh, Walmart, at Target. And there's this guy named Phil that sells it at the flea market every other Saturday. He has very good prices if you're interested. Now, some of the rolls have mouse droppings in them because he's a little bit of a hoarder. But it's pretty paper if you can overlook that. Um every other Saturday. I don't know if this is his Saturday coming up or not. Mother would know. Um, oh, yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. So, I had to ask you that. Um, do you prefer uh, paper or plastic? Oh, oh, okay. That is very environmentally uh, conscious. You, you, you are a very um, environmental person. You don't look crunchy at all. I think you're quite, quite lovely. <laughs> so are you taking this stuff home to cook it for your husband or? Oh, well, that's something. I should have known because these look like meals for one person. This looks like if I was ever to shop for myself, which I never get to do. Well, see, I, my mother lives with me, you know, in her house. So I don't ever get to just shop for myself, and she, she's always busy. I'd like to say she she can't get out, can't do her own shopping. Truth is that she's always out with her social life. She has all these friends, and she does things, and leaves me at the house with her turtle. And I wish I could cook for two, but not her. You know what I mean. So I also have to ask you um, if you would be willing to donate today to the human fund we have a can for that it has these professional labels on it and see it says donations so would you be interested in that we are taking donations through the end of time basically so we will always be asking you to give even more money than you're already given for stuff so we want you to give even more if you will listen, you will hear that there is nothing in the human fund. And if I don't get some donations by the end of the day, I cannot participate in the pizza party on Sunday. So I'm giving you a sad face right now because I am a little upset because I don't have many days left to get some donations. Thank, thank you. I 
thank you so much. I would just anything, just a, thank you. I appreciate that. That is really nice of you. And now I can participate in a pizza party. And that does make me happy. You know, I'm new here, as I said, and I'm still dealing with training. And Mr. Sanderson has been very patient with me. He said that efficiency and speed are two important things. I don't remember what that applied to, though. I don't know if he meant when I'm ringing people up or when I'm bagging stuff. He wasn't, he didn't specify. Now, before we get into that, I would like to suggest some additional items for your order today, as it is a very special day. It's Valentine's Day. Did you know that? It's Valentine's Day. And happy Valentine's Day again to you, lovely lady. Uh, are you going to be getting flowers today? Do you reckon? Well, you know, you could leave here today with some flowers if you're interested. We do have a remarkable, well, it was remarkable now that I look at it. It's not so great, is it? Um, we have a, 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 well, we have a picked over selection of wilted things over there now. Well, it is Valentine's Day, you know. It's like the day's half over and all the good stuff's been taken already. It looks like we have some stuff over there that, may have a little bit of life left in it uh, but we are selling all of the flowers over there at a discount today five percent off and you can buy the uh plant carcasses for five percent off if you're interested um i have an example up here that i want to show you and i'm supposed to show you this um to give you an idea of what you would find if you went and perused this actually is what you would have found if you perused it a few days ago, but not so much now. But I still, um, may I please show you the flowers that you might be have been able to find? I would like to do that. Now look at this. Look at these beautiful, well that one's a little wilted, but look at the beautiful flowers that we have here. Now you can purchase these today at the supermarket. Um, you cannot purchase these, unfortunately. Um, Mr. Sanderson said we cannot sell these um, because, well, Cheryl is working today. I don't know if you know her, but she's sick and she sneezed on them. I'm not even supposed to be near them, but I thought they were fake. I looked at them. I thought they were plastic. I've never actually seen a bouquet outside of a TV show before. And I pinched one of them. I don't even know what kind of flowers these are. I just know we have purple flowers. There's a red one, orange, yellow, uh, pink. I don't know what any of them are. I thought they were from the Dollar Tree. And I pinched one of the blooms, one of the petals, and it came off. And I said, this isn't plastic. And Mr. Sanderson, he just sighed. He sighs a lot. I don't know if that's a habit he's always had, but he sighed at me, and then Cheryl sneezed on him, and he said, just show them to people. We're not selling that bouquet. It's cursed anyhow. I don't think it looks that cursed. Look, got a little flower, or got a little hearts on it, and you can see through the plastic. So if these were for sale, they'd be 5% off. Honestly, if somebody comes by and they say they want to buy them, I'm selling them. I don't care. Can get you some Valentine's Day Ebola or something. I'm going to put that there. But that gives you an idea of what you would have seen if you looked over there at the flowers a few days ago. But now all the good ones are gone. So we have that. Um, if you have a, a special someone in your life... I'm not supposed to ask if you do. I've heard that's rude. Um, but say if you had a boyfriend, you know. If you had a, I mean, you to, if you, you're you not nodding or doing this, so I don't know how to read you right now. Um, I'm not asking if you have one. I'm just saying. Suppose we were talking about the fact that you have a boyfriend. You're very rigid. You anybody ever told you that? You're very rigid. You don't move much. Um, so, but say you had a boyfriend you wanted to get rid of and you just couldn't stand them anymore. 
Well, we have something for that. And it's legal. We have TNT exploding hearts. It's not going to actually kill them. It's a fun trick, noisemaker. Look how horrified these hearts are. It's like those little snapping pops. You throw them on the ground and it makes a, a noise, you know, just exploding hearts. You could throw them down at their feet and, like, chase them out the door and then lock it behind them. Exploding hearts. These are $1.99. That is with the discount because we have offered the generous 5% discount to these items as well. So we have exploding hearts. Do you have a... Do you, uh, you reckon you have a boyfriend you want to chase out of the house and then lock the door? I'm not asking if you have a boyfriend. I'm just being uh, hyperbolic. No. Hyperbaric. What's that word? Bulimic. No, hyper... It's a for instance is what it is. Or suppose there were some lucky young man that might have caught your eye and you thought maybe you'd want to give him something special. How about this? You have a little heart. It's full of chocolate. Look at that. It's from Elmer Chocolates. You know, it's good. So I love it because it has that nice waxy flavor. It tastes like those little chocolate full covered footballs. It tastes like wax with a chocolate flavor added to it. It's like that. It's so delicious. So you could give them this baseball heart and say, hope you hit a home run. <laughs> home Home run. Anyway, you could get them that. That's only a dollar twenty-four. Or how about this? If you want to be very, very suggestive, this heart needs a hairbrush. There's a sentence I never thought I'd say. How about that? Meat for you. I reckon maybe he might want to give you that. Like say, if I gave you that, I got some meat for you. Like hold it behind your back, you know. I got some. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Oh, yes, ma'am. I am. I am ringing up customers. I am. I am. I am. Yep. I'm doing my suggestive selling at the moment. I have a heart behind me. It's all part of the pitch, ma'am. You have to think outside of the box occasionally. And I have a heart-shaped box just for this lovely lady here. But you're interrupting me. I'm trying to do my job, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, I will go faster. Yeah, I apologize. So, like say, if I had this, like that, and it went, I have, no, wait, I have some meat for you, and then you think I'm being dirty, you think I'm being nasty, and then I show you that. It's furry, look at it. He's got, he's got a rose in his mouth, it is between his teeth. That's a Sasquatch. You know, they said they saw one in the Uri Mountains, and they made a TV show about it. It was a whole thing. He even has a red bow tie. Now, this is from Jack Links. And it's held together in the back by tape. Look at this. Meat for you. It's like saying you want a screw, and you hand him a screw. It's not dirty. It's just a joke. If you're not interested in that. And we have this. Now, it looks gigantic. Look, sweethearts, candies. And see how it says ox ox. Zaza says that that means hugs and kisses or is it kisses and hugs maybe it goes that way because see then it looks like a butt ox ox and there's there's flavored chalk in here that's shaped like hearts but you can't use it to draw on the sidewalk because it's too small i think you're supposed to eat it but i don't know how maybe you only eat it if you don't like your teeth very much but we have the original sweet sweet art, sweet arts candies, and they all have sayings on them like "Be mine, sweetie pie, pick me, you are cute, kiss me, bestie, wink wink, I love you." Do you have a name? My name is Carl. Can I shake your hand? I'm, I'll, okay. Could, my name is, what is your name? Oh, that's okay. I can learn it later. We can, uh, we can get to know about one another over time. <laughs> do you like, do you like buffets? 
because I happen to know of one where they think I'm a senior citizen and I always get a discount if you ever want to go dine with me, maybe say at lunchtime for the eight ninety nine buffet. That would be really nice. We could get waters that way. It's not more. I wouldn't want to spend all your money. Um, not till we get to know each other better. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, I believe in a, a fair partnership. You know, two people together, you should be both given the same amount. Like, see, I could drive. I could take my... Yes, I have an El Camino. You might have seen it in the parking lot. It's got a primer hood and a blue door. That's my car. That's my pride and joy. And I can't drive it after dark because, as I said, I have night blindness. And that does kind of hamper me a little bit, but I can do brunch. And the days are getting longer, so that gives us even more time if we want to go to the park and stare at people. And we could throw pecans at the squirrels. And Oh, yes, I, I, I know you have somewhere to be. Let me show you the other items I have here. We have a whole line of these chocolatey candies. They call them chocolatey candies because they're not actually chocolate. I think they're made out of candle wax, but they probably don't want to say that. This one, now this one, is just it just sums up my love life, I tell you. My heart has been broken so many times, and Mother, she's no help. She's always telling me, Carl, you got to get back out there. You got to go and you find you that woman of your dreams. And you're never going to find her just sitting here on the couch. She doesn't know about the internet. It's probably best if she doesn't. It's, it's really just a rabbit hole that my mother, she's too old, she'll have a heart attack. She does not need to go down that rabbit hole. You need to get out there and find you somebody. I said, Mother, I'm trying. I've tried. And I can get my heart broken every day. You're not getting your heart broken every day because you spend most days here. So I thought maybe with this new job, I could find some new love. I cast my line, and it keeps coming back empty. I wish I could at least just hook a catfish or something. I can't even do that. This, this little chocolatey unicorn sums up my love life. Look. So this is a cuddly cutie right from Palmer. I don't know if you can read it, but there's a red heart on this, on this, uh, I believe it was a unicorn. And it says, you are magical. And look, somebody bit its head off. Just clean off. Do you know, it's like me. I put my heart out there and I say, you are magical. And I come home decapitated. Figuratively speaking, I come home with just, I've just been dismembered time and time again, but I take my battered heart and I offer it back up and it gets stomped on and Mother says there's a lid for every pot. I'm starting to think maybe I'm a fondue pot. People just stick sticks in me. I'm just boiling inside. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, so, but we have another cutie, cuddly cutie. This one makes me sad, though. This one. I mean, I'm not entirely sure what happened here. This, 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 this one makes me sad. It reminds me of Ruffles. This is a dog I had when I was little, and he used to like to sleep in the street. And then one day, he just wasn't around anymore. But he had a little tag on him that said, Cool dog, just like this one does. And he had that same little face. These are available at 50% off because they are damaged. If you're interested in buying something that makes me sad or something that sums up my love life, you can get them for half price today if you are interested. They are not actually made of chocolate. If they were made in a lab by a scientist. No? Okay. Well, I don't blame you. I don't think I'd want sad chemicals either. Speaking of casting your line out, do you do, do does your boyfriend like to fish? I didn't ask if you had a boyfriend. I just asked if your boyfriend likes to fish, because I like to fish. Theoretically speaking, if I actually caught a fish, I don't believe I'd know what to do with it. They have those spines and they're slippery, and they always look like they're mad at me. I don't know what to do with them. I have to get Mother to take them off the hook. I'm being very vulnerable by admitting that. I am getting to the point where I can almost bait my own hook. 
those worms are intimidating though. They also look like they hate me. Sometimes I feel like everything hates me. Anyway, if you have a fisherman in your life, or a fisherwoman, do you like to fish? Because see, it would be a perfect arrangement if you like to fish, and you can take fish off the hook. So you could do that for me, and I could drive us there in my El Camino. Do you drive? Oh, well, that's nice. You have a car? Hmm. Now, that's, that's good for you. Independent woman, I like that. Mother would like that, too, you know. You could come hang out with us, and, you know, we, we play Uno sometimes at night, and we eat Salisbury steak, and we drink lemonade, and you could come do that, and we could get to know one another better. And then when Mother goes to bingo, we could have some time together, and we could watch Lawrence Welk. I have a whole collection on VHS of the old episodes, if you're interested. I have my favorite ones marked with a little star on the label. And I know where to cue it up to, what minute. I'm very technologically savvy. I, I am. If you spend any time with me, you'll be impressed with the amount of information that I, I, I have attained over the years about, you know, <sighs> electronics. It's, I don't want to bore you with it, but anyway. I think you might be really just kind of dazzled if you hung out with me much. So we have the, you see these in here, they look like little artificial bait, but it's gummies that you can eat. And then we have hard candies in here, and it comes in this little box, and it has little compartments to it. So what you would do if you were going to buy this for your boyfriend or husband, I believe you said you didn't have one, though. Not that I asked. You would put your name here, which your name is, you still don't want to tell me, and your boyfriend's name is, oh, yes, I, I understand, so you're not interested. Okay, but you didn't say that you had a boyfriend. You, you're not giving me a name. I'm starting to think you don't, see. Which there's no need to be ashamed of that. I mean, personally, I, I, I am very single. I am painfully single myself, and um, I'm not ashamed to admit it. I, I think there's nothing wrong with being open and honest with people. I mean, it, it doesn't hurt most of the time, and it only gets you arrested occasionally. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I, I can't go to the quick check anymore. Um, I have one more thing I wanted to show you, though. This might interest you, because you look like you would like this kind of thing. I have Cupid's Love Potion. Do you like drinks? Do you like mixed drinks? My idea of mixed drink is taking a Dr. Pepper and a Coca-Cola and mixing them together. <laughs> Mother doesn't approve of alcohol. But now, do you drink alcohol? Well, yes, ma'am, I know it's not initial, it's not technically any of my business, but I mean, I'm just saying, like, if you were to ever come to my house, you wouldn't bring a bottle of wine or anything. Oh, you would not. Well, that's good. That's good. A mother, that wouldn't make a good impression on her just to, to initially meet you, and then you come in like a wino. She wouldn't care for that too much so that's good to know um yeah so you drink these as wax and it's filled with this flavored stuff and it's funny you get eight of them in here it's from nickel nip and that always makes me laugh because i went to school with a guy named <laughs> went to school with a guy named nipple nick because he had these inverted nipples and they were kind of purple <laughs> That's nasty. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have told you that. But every time I see this nickel nip, I think a nipple nick, and it just <laughs> takes me right back there. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. Are you in? No. Okay. Well, I'm going to put that back then. That is all the suggestive selling I have, and I struck out. Story of my life. No meat for you. It is Valentine's Day. You sure you don't want a little meat? The customer is always right. Hit a home run. How about an exploding heart? 5% off. All right. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to get at it now. Let me see here. You've got your bag. This is so smart. You bring your own bag. 
I have some bags, but I always leave them at the house. I never remember to bring them to the store. And I have to use plastic bags. You don't hate me for that, do you? Good. I, I just hate for you to think less of me because of that. I don't know. Some people are really, like, fundamentalist about plastic. And I don't know. Some people don't care. All right. Let's see what we got here now. I'm gonna ring these up now. Our scanner is not working. I hope that's all right. That's not gonna make it take too long, is it? All right, what we got? Baby reds. Baby reds. Do you like babies? Babies scare me. I don't know. They're always looking at me like they're judging me. And every time I get around a baby, it starts crying. I just don't know that I was meant to, you know, procreate ever. All right, now, let me see here. You know these expired in November. They did. They expired November 22nd. I don't blame you. Let me take that off. We don't want to mess with that. We don't. I don't know what kind of sickness you could get from old mashed potatoes. I mean, they're just flakes. I don't. Do they ever actually go bad? How long have they been sitting on the shelf to go bad like that? And Lord, I don't know. We got little balls. Prego, mini meatballs. Are you making spaghetti tonight? That sounds good. Do you like this? See, Mother always buys that Del Monte uh, spaghetti sauce in the can. And every time I eat it, my fingers swell up. I think there's something in it I'm allergic to, but she buys it because it's only 89 cents. But she won't shop here because she said they charge too much for everything. I told her I get a discount. Doesn't matter. She shops at the Scratch and Dent grocery store. Have you ever been there? The Scratch and Dent, that's where they sell gently used groceries, uh, stuff that fell off the back of the truck, or they left it in the warehouse too long and the rats got in it. You can get it for a remarkably low price. She gets her spaghetti sauce there for 89 cents a can. Now, some of the cans are a little puffy, but, I mean, they open. If you just just careful when you open them because they're swollen, just be careful when you open them. You know, I, I, we've been eating it for years. I don't feel like it's affected me at all. All right. That's up to Oh, my goodness. 219 Wow. You must make good money. Do you have a job or do you just have somebody that gives you money for no reason? You have a job. Where do you work? Oh, I, I don't. I don't mean to pry. I, that's something we can get into later. I don't want you to think I would stalk you or follow you out to your car and follow you home and find out where you live and then camp outside of your house, follow you to work in the morning and you know sit outside in the parking lot, see where you go at lunch. That'd be scary. I wouldn't want you to ever worry about anybody doing that. That'd take a crazy person, so let's hope that never happens. We Oh, healthy request. Vegetable beef soup. Okay. Do you eat all this by yourself? Because this is, it has two and a half servings in it. I don't see how two and a half people are going to eat this, but it says there are two and a half servings. Okay. Dollar twenty nine. Oh, you shouldn't buy this. You know, Mother says this stuff has way too much sodium in it. It's going to give you a stroke. You shouldn't be eating this because it's not good for you. It says it has six tomatoes in every can, but it also has like 14 pounds of salt in it. But I'm not here to judge anybody's food purchases. I'm not supposed to do that. That's like rule number one. Don't make comments about what people are buying. Oh, you have a cat. Or you're very adventurous with your meat choices. We have Sheba Pate, Roasted Turkey Entree, and another one, Savory Chicken Entree. Your cats eat better than I do. This sounds better than anything I've had for dinner lately. Do they taste good? 
Oh yeah, of course not. How would you know? <laughs> I was just wondering. You can't smell them. That means they're sealed up really good. What would happen if a person ate this? Do you think they'd be sick for long or just like a passing thing? I, I don't know. So you have a cat. Very nice. What kind of cat do you have? I'm not familiar with that breed. A rescue? Is that French? I don't know anything about cat breeds. It sounds fancy. No wonder you buy that fancy food. We have one single can of tuna. You're single. You gotta be single. There's no way. No person in a relationship shops like this. This is how I'd shop if I had the life I wanted. You know, that's funny. I've noticed that with other people's groceries here. You can't smell the food outside of the can like you can with the scratch and dent merchandise. And all the words are in English, too. <laughs> so, anyway, as I was saying, you know, I'm a very astute. There's no barcode on this. There's no barcode on this. How'd you do that? I had to put in this code. So, as I was saying, you know, I'm a very observant, astute uh, person, and I could tell from your purchases that you do not have a boyfriend. So, I'm going to get a little bit bold here, and I'm just going to say, hey, let's just drop all pretenses. Okay, why don't you and I get together? Are you working tomorrow? Because I'm off tomorrow all day. Well, I was thinking we could start with something simple. You know, we could go to the buffet at the Pizza Inn. They do the eight ninety nine lunch buffet. And then we could go check out the scratching dents. And maybe you could see, you know, why it might be a better idea to shop there. Um, you do have to wear a respirator when you go in because they've been detecting some kind of fumes in there and they can't quite identify where they came from. So you have to wear a respirator until you get... 50 feet away from the store they're handing them out in the parking lot but we could go check it out i bet you'd look cute in a respirator it has eye protection so you look like an insect it's really funny we can't talk though because it has these big filters on the sides so you can't understand the people at all we could pre we could pretend we were in breaking bad and we were in that rv and making stuff and having an exciting life you know instead of working here and Hating yourself, you could pretend you're, you're a really exciting person. I think I think we should do that. Now, what do you say? I'm being very bold right now. I do apologize. Oh. Well. That's all right. As I say, this is me. That That's, it's fine. No, no, no. You haven't hurt my feelings at all. I'm used to it at this point. I mean, I have calluses on my heart from it being stepped on so many times it feels like a doormat that's fine so we have country ham biscuit pieces cured and aged just like me sun crest i don't even feel like ringing this up you can just have it it's not stealing if i did it i work here start fry teriyaki beef now this I can kind of smell do you think it would be possible that you could go with me to bingo one night it's not a date but you would be doing me a favor see mother's redoing her will and she's been threatening to cut me out of it and she said if I don't show her that I'm trying with the young lady then she's gonna cut me out of the will and then I'm not exactly sure what she means by that. So if I, uh, like, say, paid you in discount chocolatey items, would you be willing to drive me to bingo one night? I can't go after dark because of my night blindness and doesn't even start till 8. I would pay you in discount chocolatey items and uh, maybe some turtle food. Would you be willing to do that? What? What about Friday night? It's not a, yes ma'am, it's not a date. It's not a date, but it would mean a whole lot to me. 
Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm going to give you my address. Huh? I don't know how to... I've given you this. Don't tell anybody. Well, I don't care if you tell them. I'm going to write my address on here in the two from. I'm going to put it down here with my name so you don't forget who I am. Okay, I want to, I'm going to stick this in the bag here. I'm going to pretend like I'm ringing it up, but I'm not actually charging you for it. Okay. Oh, you have just made my day. I have never had a Valentine's Day. This Take this. I want you to take this, too. You No, I understand it's not a date. Yes, ma'am, I know, I know. But you could help me out in so many ways because Mother is, she's, well, you know, she's about on the road to glory, so anything you could do would help me. I'd be so grateful. I'm going to give you these wilted, slightly smashed flowers. They don't smell like anything, but they're colorful. Okay, but if you change your mind, I'm going to put them over here. Okay. Oh, I'm just, I'm so happy. I'm giving you the rest of this. Oh, don't worry about it. It's, we'll consider it a special discount. <laughs> Get your jello in here. <laughs> oh, very nice choices you made today. So, Bola nose. That sounds fancy. Is that French? I'd love to go there one of these days. Is that in France? It is? I've never been to the coast. I'm always afraid I'd fall off the edge. I've never gotten that. No, I don't believe I'd want to go down there. That ocean's too big. It scares me because you can't see the other side of it from what I hear. And I don't reckon that's for me. I'm not ready for that kind of adventure yet. Um, yes, ma'am. I am so excited. Uh, you, uh, just you put your card there. You don't even have to pay for this if you don't want to. I'll exit out. You've done me such a... Yes, ma'am. Oh, um, I, yes. I put my uh, my phone number on there and my address. Um, I have my phone with me at all times. If you ever need to call me, please feel free to. Um, I would love to hear from you and my address is on that chocolatey item. And if you would do that, uh, maybe about 7.45... 745 you don't have to stay but it would be really nice if you would at least come in and make an appearance with me and pretend that you know you find me interesting and funny i will introduce you to mother of course she she will need to see you and um anytime you want to come in here if i'm working here i hope i keep this job anytime i'm working here you just come in and and i will well, what is it the young people say Hook you out. I will hook you out. You will be all set. So, I got your groceries here, and here's your receipt. If just push that button right there that you want a receipt, and it prints here. All right. And your groceries are right there. Well, thank you so much, ma'am. I still don't know your name, but I don't guess it matters. Maybe it will come in time. <laughs> you're doing me a great favor. I think you're a wonderful human being, and I won't see you again today. Unless you want to come back. I'm here till 8. Happy Valentine's Day to you, darling. I'm so looking forward to our date. Not a date. Not a date. Not a date. It's just where a, a couple of people are going to meet up and, and go somewhere together. <laughs> and, you know, convince Mother that it's legitimate. That's all. And, and I'm looking forward to our not date. Thank you so much for stopping by the grocery store today. I hope you have a fantastic Valentine's Day, and I'll see you again real soon.